Hey there, drone fans. Rick here again from Drone Valley. In today's video, I'll be covering the best and more importantly safest way to charge the batteries in your brand new DJI Avada 2. Because DJI is using some newer battery charging technology with this particular drone, and taking advantage of that will get you out the door and up in the sky as quickly as possible. But it's important to understand what chargers work, and more importantly, what each of these products require, because each of the products, the goggles, the batteries, and the controller, all have different charging standards, and knowing what those are and picking the right charger, again, will allow you to quickly and safely charge your batteries. Now, before I get too deep in which charger to pick, let's talk a little bit about the requirements for each of the products. So the goggles, the battery for the drone, and the controller all have different charging standards. The goggles can be charged at up to 60 watts, same with the batteries, and this can be charged up to 25 watts. Now, it's important when you pick a charger that you have a powerful charger, especially if you want to charge all three of these at the same time. You should find a charger with multiple ports, and those ports should be able to handle those current requirements. The other thing to keep in mind is that these are fast charging devices. Now, when you talk about technology, there's two types of fast charging standards on the market. There's the QC standard, which was developed by Qualcomm, and there's the PD standard, which is the newer standard typically found on USB-C products. So if you look at any product you've got that's got a quick charging standard, it's either going to be QC or PD. These use the PD standard. So when you're finding a charger, you'll need to find one that can supply at least 65 watts, even better if it's a multi-port charger with higher power requirements. And if it's PD, that's even better because what those quick charging standards do, both QC and PD, is they'll look at whatever's plugged into that port, they'll interrogate that particular product, they'll figure out the best voltage and current to charge that product quickly and safely and adjust the port to match that requirement. So that allows you to charge these a lot quicker than if you're using a standard charger that doesn't have PD or QC built in. Now, both of those technologies are automatic. There's nothing you have to do, but it's really important you find one that has that PD capability. The other thing to consider is you can basically use any charger to charge these products, but the problem is if you use a smaller charger that can only supply maybe 10 watts or 15 watts or 25 watts, it'll charge, but it'll take an awful long time to get these charged. So if you're trying to charge them quickly and safely, having a 65 watt charger is a bare minimum with a PD standard is the best way to go. Now I've got three products in front of me, again, the goggles, the batteries for the drone and the controller. About a year and a half ago, maybe a little bit longer, we sat down as a team here at Drone Valley and said, look, there's a lot of standards out there around chargers, a lot of different power requirements, different quick charge standards. Can we put a charger together that delivers both a quick charge and a PD charge in the same charger? And can we put multiple ports on that charger, both USB-A and USB-C? And that's what I have in front of me here. So the first one we came out with was a car charger, which is a total of 95 watts. And that's got a single USB-A that's QC and two USB-Cs that are both PD. One is 65 watts and one is 30 watts. That gives you the 95. Then we came out with a home charger with a fold-out blade on the back of it that has three ports as well. It's got a USB-A and two USB-Cs for a total of 65 watts. This is great for single charging one of these devices. And you can plug it in any port you want and you can use multiple ports. Well, as things got bigger and we started seeing batteries that were massive and people were asking about laptops, we came out with a 140 watt charger. And this has one USB-A on it and three USB-C ports. Now, the nice part about this one is that two of the USB-C ports can be used with 65 watt outputs at the same time and still leave plenty of current in that last USB-C. So with this one, you can plug the goggles into one of the 65 watt ports, you can plug the batteries into another one of the 65 watt ports, and you can plug the controller into the third port and charge all three at the same time. All of these are quick charge and PD compliant, which means they're intelligent, the ports will negotiate that voltage and current, and safely and quickly charge those devices. One other advantage of these two chargers is they're both built on GAN technology, which is the latest charging technology on the market. Before this, most chargers were based on silicon and they were, they were good, they were efficient, but they were big and they got really hot. GAN chargers tend to be wildly efficient. They don't draw as much current. They're much better in the conversion from AC to DC to charge your devices. And more importantly, they can be smaller. So this 140 watt charger, if you look back two years ago for a solar conversion, it was the size of a sneaker. I mean, it was gigantic. You probably have one at home with your laptop. So with this unit, 
it's a universal charger in the sense that you've got a USB-A and three USB-Cs on it. You can use this to charge anything you're using a charger today, and you can charge multiple devices at the same time. So this will work great with phones and tablets and drone batteries and cameras, and if you've got portable game consoles, you can even charge a laptop on this as long as you have the right cable. And that's where I'm going next, because not only is the charger important, but the cable super important as well, because even though a charger may be able to supply 65 watts of charging power, if you have an older cable or a junky cable that can only handle 15 watts, guess what? That hose is too small to carry all that current to the device. So you're artificially limiting the amount of power that's getting to your device because the cable's too old. So we came out with two sets of cables. We have a standard cable at 60 watts, and this is actually 65. It's got a USB-C on both ends, so you can plug it into the charger, plug it into the device, and charge it up to 65 watts. We also came out with a larger one that can handle 100 watts. Now, the reason you'd need this is if you want to use this larger charger to charge a laptop or some of the game consoles or some of the bigger batteries that are in some of the drones out there today. So both of these will work just great. And again, it's just the maximum amount of current that these products can handle. So again, 100 watts here, 65 watts there. You can use multiple of these on the same charger. Now to show you how this works, I've got a, a portable battery bank right here. I could plug it into the wall, but this just makes things a little bit easier. So let me turn that on. All right, that's on. Let me start off with the 65 watt charger. So if I plug this, let me get a cable first. So I've got one of the 65 watt cables. I'll plug it in here. I'll plug it into the AC. And again, this is just like plugging it into an outlet at home. And I can, I can charge any of these devices with it directly. So here's, a, here's the batteries charging. Now what's going to happen, because the PD port has to interrogate the batteries, it's talking to the controller in the bottom of the hub, it's going to take a second for it to figure out which of the batteries needs the least amount of charge. The hub's going to tell the charger, okay, we've negotiated the voltage and current, please start charging that battery. And that should take a couple of seconds. Still thinking, did I turn it on? Yeah, I did turn it on. I always got to check to make sure things are on. And there you go. So it's fast charging that battery. Now, the 65 watt charger can fire as much current as possible at that to charge it quickly, but you can still use one of the other ports if you want. The only challenge is that brings that output power down because the maximum for this one charger is 65 watts. So if you want to charge it quickly, that's a single charge. And then you can move it to the headset, you can move it to the controller. If you want to charge the controller and that at the same time, or two devices at the same time, that 65 watts is going to be divided between those ports. And in the case of this unit, this port's going to put out 40 watts. I've got another one that'll put out 25 watts. So I can charge these at the same time. It just takes a little bit longer because there's a limit to how much power this can put out. If I want to charge multiple devices, the 140 watt charger is a better choice because that gives me three USB-C ports that are all active at the same time. So I'll plug this one into the top port. I'll plug a second cable into this third port. Let me move this one down. And then I'll plug the high performance cable into the top port. And now all of these ports are active at the same time. So let me plug this in. Charger's ready to go. I've got this connected. Let me connect up the goggles to this one. And I'll spin it around so you can see the port there. And then I'll connect the controller up to the third one. Now the controller, I was just out flying the Avada a little while ago, and I'm telling you, the battery in this controller lasts forever, because I went through two batteries on the Avada, and this is still at a full charge, so it's not going to show you it charging because it's full. But you can see that this one's picked up. It's thinking. Wait a minute. It's still thinking. There we go. So it's charging. This one's charging, and this guy's happy as well. I've got all three products charging at this point. It looks like I'm drawing about 96 watts of power out of here, so it's adjusting for whatever voltage and current it needs to charge those quickly and safely. Now, the car charger is another option for you, which is a great option if you're traveling, because a lot of times you're going to fly to location, and maybe you've you know decided, okay, I've flown enough here at the lake. I know there's a forest over that way about 10 miles. Let me drive over there and start uh, flying in that space. Well, you can use the car charger the same way. So this is a 65-watt USB-C port. Let me get the right one right here, and it's labeled. Let me put it in the DC port over here. Let me turn that on first. Okay, I'll plug that in. And now that's charging. It's going to take a second again to make the adjustment. But the beauty of that is that you've got a single port on there that's 65 watts. So you can use it with either, actually you can use it with any of the devices. You can use it with the batteries, you can use it with the goggles, or you can use it with the controller. You could also split that if you want to, just like you can with this one, where if you use two ports, it'll split the amount of power between those two ports. But 
I like this because it gives me the ability to charge on the road when I'm traveling between locations. Now, you're not going to fill up a battery if you're only driving 20 miles, but you can get a lot of current into the, or I should say a lot of potential into the battery in that 25 minute drive. It allows you to top off the batteries when you're driving. Now, again, we spent a lot of time developing these. These were not easy products to come up with. We went through, geez, I think we went through, I know we went through about seven revisions on this one, and I think about 11 revisions on the 140 water because I wanted it to be small. I wanted the prongs to flip out so it's easy to take in your kit. I also wanted to make sure we had a USB-A port and at least two USB-C ports on it. With this one, you've got three. And it really just does the job. So if you're looking for a single charger, this one will work great for any of the products. This one allows you to charge multiple products at the same time. And we offer these on the website, and we also offer them on Amazon. And again, I'm not trying to sell you a charger. I really just wanted to educate you on what you should be looking for. So at the end of the day, you want to find a charger that has at least one port that's 65 watts or better. You want it to be PD as well, because that power delivery standard, again, will recognize the fact that the battery is at a certain level, and it'll adjust the voltage and current to quickly and safely charge it. If you can find a charger that's 100 watts or 140 watts with multiple ports, you can charge multiple devices at the same time. The one thing I will warn you about is that the charger market is an interesting place. It's a bit like the Wild West. There's a lot of companies that'll build a charger and say it's a 140 watt charger or it's a 65 watt charger. None of the ports can actually put that much current out on, on some of the products, not all of them. And what you'll find if you read through the fine print is they'll call it a 65 watt charger, but what they're doing is adding up the current or the power that all the ports can put out. So none of the ports can actually support 50, 65 watts. It's maybe a 30 and a 35, and that's not gonna help you. It's gonna take a long time to get charged. With us, that's a pure 65 watt PD output, multiple 65 watt PD outputs, plus a 30 watt output, and here I've got the same, a 65 and a 30. So these are fantastic products. We designed them specifically to work with the DJI product line. We've been using them for a couple of years and we stand behind everything we sell. So if you have any questions or problems or issues or you just wanna yell at somebody, we'll be here and we'll take care of you. Um, now we offer these a couple of ways. You can get the chargers on their own if you got good cables. But again, remember I warned you about the cables. You gotta make sure you get a cable that can at least handle 65 watts. If you've got an old janky cable, do yourself a favor and get a new cable. We offer it a couple of different ways. So we offer the chargers on their own. We also offer them as a charging kit. So if you go with the 140, you're gonna get a 65 watt cable. You're gonna get a 100 watt cable. Uh, if you go with these, you're gonna get just the 65 watt cable. And then you're gonna get connectors because this is USB-C to USB-C. You may wanna charge an iPhone. You may wanna charge an Android product that's micro USB. So what we're including is two adapters. One is a Apple adapter and one is a micro USB adapter. So you can pop these on the end and it turns the USB-C into whatever flavor you need, whether it's Apple or micro USB. We're also including another type of adapter, which is pretty cool. It's a USB-C to USB-A. So you pop that on there, you've got a USB-A on this end, you can plug that into a USB-A port, and the other end is USB-C. And you could even convert that if you want to, a, to an Apple. So here I've created a, a cable that goes from USB-A to Apple, which is pretty cool. So it's like a universal plumbing kit almost, where you can make any cable you want. And then the final adapter we're including is a USB-A to USB-C changer. And what this does is take an older USB-A cable that plugs in here and turns it into a USB-C cable so you can use it with these newer chargers. So you can get the chargers on their own. You can also get them with the kit. If you get the kit, you get this beautiful Drone Valley limited edition <laughs> pouch. I'm laughing because I love this pouch and a lot of people are asking me, where can you find this? Well, you get it as part of the charger kit, but it's a great way to keep everything organized. So the charger fits in there, all these adapters fit in there. And that way, when you throw this in your bag, you got everything you need to create any kind of cable you need and it just works really well so that's pretty much all i had for today again uh, we're pretty proud of these products it took us a long time to develop them they'll work great with the avada too and one of the reasons i wanted to do this is i've had so many people send us emails ask us questions i got a bunch of phone calls saying hey i just bought the brand new avada 2 i opened the box i went to charge it there's no charger in the box and that's something that a lot of electronic companies are starting to do where they're not including chargers I think it's a mistake. I think the charger should come with the product. But anyway, these are universal chargers. We, we offer them up. I think they're great. Uh, obviously, I think they're great because we built them, but, but I think you're going to like them a lot too. So thanks an awful lot for watching. If you've got any questions of anything I've covered today, drop them in the comments below. I'm happy to get back to you as quickly as I can. We have plenty of these in stock. We can ship them and get them to you quicker than Amazon does. So if you want one of these, hit the website and uh, we'll be happy to ship one right out to you. So thanks an awful lot. I hope you guys are having fun. Spring is here. 
I say this every year when springtime hits. Boy, I wait all winter to get back out there and put a drone up in the air. And the Avada hit at the perfect time because I, I love flying FPV. I can't fly it as long as my son who can fly for hours because I get a little bit vertigo. But I love putting this drone up and flying like crazy. And, I, and these chargers are going to keep it nice and, nice and full as far as the batteries go. So that's pretty much it for today. Thanks again for watching. And until next time, as always, <laughs> happy flying. Thank mm -hmm. you.